Demio is a webinar software that appears to be really simple and minimalistic at first, but is actually packing tons of powerful audience engagement features that I really liked. But there are also some annoying limitations that I didn't like. In this review, we'll take a look at the good, the bad, and the unique features of Demio. So keep watching. So when I log into Demio, I see all my recently created webinars here. I'm gonna add a new one. So now I have a choice to go with the, the live webinar that happens only once at a specific time and date, or a series of recurring webinars, or an automated webinar with a pre-existing pre-recorded webinar video. I'm gonna come back to the automated webinar later, but for now I'm gonna go with the live webinar. So I wanna create a webinar about financial planning and budgeting. So I need an attractive name for my webinar. To scheduling. I have the option to host my webinar as a one-time event or host the same webinar multiple times as a recurring event. So for the recurring one, I can have it every week, for example, but no more than once per week. That's not really flexible. So I'm gonna go with the one-time webinar and add to schedule. And at this point, actually, my webinar is fully set up. All the registration pages, the thank you pages, the emails are set up for me by default. I can customize them uh, by going to the customization tab. Now, everything I can customize about my webinar is here in the customization tab. And I'm gonna start with customizing the webinar registration page. So the registration page is very minimalistic. You can't do much about it. You can only choose a different background color or a background image for your registration page. So I've uploaded a background image to make my registration page a little bit more attractive. And luckily there is a, a few things I can add. I can add my logo up to a so already. And I can change the button color now to make it more in sync with my background image. So I'm gonna go with something like this. Now, to be fair, I can add some more elements to my registration page. For example, I can add a subheading. And I can add a description. Now, I can add a product image inside my description here. And save. So in fact, I can add things to my registration page. They would just appear below the registration form. And everything I add, even a video, will appear below here in the registration form. So in fact, you can add your video, your product image, your descriptions, but it would all appear below the registration form. So this is Demio's way of keeping the focus on the registration form to maximize the conversions. Because after all, that's what the registration page is for. Save. There is one more thing you can add to your registration page, and that is custom questions. I love this part because this gives me an opportunity to get to know my attendees and prepare my webinar better and make it more personal uh, to them. So I'm gonna add two questions to my webinar registration page. And I can make them optional or required or change the uh, arrangement. After they fill out the registration form, I can redirect them to a custom thank you page, which, which could be my own website, for example. I'm gonna leave it as default for now. Now, if you have a lot of traffic coming to your website already, uh, you can actually embed the webinar registration form directly into your website. If you go to share, embed options, and you have a popover uh, like this, and you have your uh, pre-designed webinar registration form, or you can have it as inline. So by default, you have four email notifications at these specific times. You can't add any new ones, but you can turn off some uh, notifications if you want to. There is a fifth email notification, which is the post-webinar follow-up email to your registrants. And this is left off by default. So you have to come here and turn it on if you want your registrants to receive the webinar replay email. So turn this on, but you cannot uh, send a separate email to the ones who attended and the ones who didn't. It's either one or the other or everyone. Now, you can't customize your emails that much. You can only add a custom snippet to the email body. And done. 
Now, the room design is where you can add all the resources and the presentation materials that uh, you want to show and launch during your uh, webinar. Let's add a poll. Let's add a handout, a file handout. And let's add a featured action or a call to action. And so these are my pre-configured webinar resources that I can launch at any moment during my webinar. For my presentation materials, I can add a slideshow. But keep in mind that the slideshow can only be in a PDF format. So for PPT or Keynote, you have to convert to PDF. And I can add a video. So with these presentation materials, I don't have to screen share. I can launch those slides and the video directly from the Demio platform. So it would appear to all the attendees with the highest possible quality. Set your webinar chat to private if you want your attendees speaking with only with you privately and redirect all your webinar attendees to a product page or your home page after the webinar is finished. You can invite a moderator to help you with the webinar by chatting with the attendees, launching the polls, marking the questions, sharing the handouts and the featured actions so you can actually solely focus on the webinar contents and the presentations. So I'm going to add a moderator. Now there is one more thing I want to point out about this webinar setup in Demio. If you are a marketer, then listen up. You can set your integrations here. You can add a Google or Facebook tracking pixel to any page of the webinar funnel. So as you're about to join the room as a host, uh, you can choose your webcam, your audio, and set all that up and run a nice little connectivity test to make sure your uh, connection is stable, your audio and visuals are stable, so everything is uh, nice and set up. And you see that it gives you a quite detailed uh, video and audio overview. So let's just join this room. We're now in the webinar room. I'm going to start the session right about now. It's going to give me a nice little countdown so I can get myself ready and we're live so right about now uh, everyone sees that i am live and i'm gonna start my slides right here and as i run my slides my webcam is still gonna be available right at the top here and i can switch the slides but when i want to emphasize some point on my slides i can't really make the, the webcam video bigger what I can do actually, if I want to emphasize some point and put focus on my video, then I can stop sharing my slides. So it's going to put my video, webcam video at the big screen again. I can emphasize my point and I can just resume my slides from where I left off. At this point in my financial planning webinar, I want to share a budgeting template. I want to show it to my audience. So I go with share screen. And I can go with a different Chrome tab or just a entire different uh, screen that I have open. So on Demio, I will see this uh, overlay on top of my shareable screen. However, that's okay because I can still see my uh, template on my other screen. One of the downsides of Demio, in my opinion, is that there is no whiteboard tool. I can't take a pencil, uh, a virtual pencil and uh, draw like arrows and boxes and circles on the budgeting template. What I can do is only point with the mouse. You can, a little bit, you can see there that I'm trying to point with my mouse to emphasize something, although I would love to draw like a circle around something or a box. So when I set up this uh, webinar, I also pre-configured a video that I wanted to share. So I'm going to launch the video now. It's going to use a YouTube player to play it. Starting point is the 50, 20, 30 budgeting rule. The simple rule applies to your finances and budgeting. To use and I can just use the YouTube controls to pause or this resume. You divide your net after time. And if I want to, again, pause and emphasize some point, I can just stop sharing the video. It's going to go back to full screen on the webcam. And if I want to resume the video, I can just launch the video again. And it will actually continue from the same place that I left off from. 
net after tax income into three categories. So that's pretty This entire right hand side over here is for chats. I can hide or show the chats, but if I hide it, it will only hide it for me so I can focus on the presentation and not get distracted. This is especially good if you have a moderator who's taking the, the questions and, uh, and chatting with the attendees. Right about now, I had a question from the attendees. One great feature that Demio actually improved uh, just recently is the ability to mark chat messages as questions. So as I mark it as a question, it will stand out much more so I can separate it in the chats. And when I'm ready to answer it, I can just click start answering and it will register as a question and register the timestamp when I started to answer this specific question. And when I'm finished, I can just click finish answering and it will create a time period of when I started and when I finished with that particular question. So if you remember, as I pre-configured my webinar, I also set up some interaction tools and I can launch them right here. Uh, so for example, if I launch the poll, uh, I can do some last minute changes and share the results with the attendees and launch. Uh, it will appear like this. I can launch my handout, uh, the shareable file that I pre-configured, share, it will appear like this for me. And I can launch my offer, my featured action. So I can do some last minute changes and just launch it right like this. Now let's see how those appear for the attendee. So let's see how really the attendee will experience the whole webinar funnel on Demio. This is a registration page. I filled out the form, including the optional questions. And if I want to, I can see the whole video down here that I added and the description along with the product image. And if I click register, it will take me to the thank you page. Now on the thank you page, I see the specific time and date in my own time zone, and I can add the event to my calendar. And I can also go ahead and just uh, join the room. I'm now in the webinar room as an attendee, and this is the, how the video quality will look like for the attendee. I think it's pretty decent. So whenever the host launches a poll for the attendee, it will look something like this. It will redirect to the poll and I can just vote right here. If the host launches a handout, the attendee will see it like this and they can download. If the host launches a featured action or a call to action, the attendee will see it. It will pop up like this and they can just click the call to action button. The host can actually invite an attendee uh, up there to speak uh, and to share their microphone and webcam. And if that happens, the attendee will see something like this. So this is me as the attendee as I turned on my webcam. So I invited the attendee to share their webcam and share a story. Whenever I'm done with this, I can just disallow webcam and the attendee will disappear. So when the webinar session is over, the attendee will be redirected to a page that the host configured during web webinar setup. When you go to the activity tab, you will have all your webinar analytics under there. And first off, you can see your registration summary. When did your registrants actually register for the webinar? What I'm actually missing here is how well did the minimalistic Demio landing pages actually convert? Is their approach good on that? I would like to have that data as well. Another thing that you can analyze is your webinar attendance summary. Basically, you can know when exactly did you lose your attendance? When were the, the drops and when were the peaks? When did people leave your webinar? You can compare this chart to a webinar replay and pinpoint exactly what were you talking about? What were you saying that caused them to leave? Another really cool thing about the webinar analytics on Demio is you can track your attendees' focus. Were they actually watching your webinar or was it somewhere in their browser background or while they were doing something else? Compare it to your webinar replay and analyze when were the focus peaks? What did you say that caused them to switch back to the webinar and start engaging and start watching it? And finally, you can analyze how many attendees actually participated in the polls, what were the results, how many downloaded your handout files, and how many of your attendees uh, clicked on your webinar offer. And you can export all that data into a CSV file as well. Now, there's one last thing I want to show you. You can use your previous live webinar videos to create an on-demand automated webinar. Or you can just upload a pre-recorded video right here. So what's the bottom line? Well, the downsides of Demio 
are. You can't really design the webinar registration page. It's very minimalistic. Second, you can't really change the email reminder schedule. And you can't really edit the emails either. You can only add a text snippet inside the email body. And third, the webinar replay is only just a video without even a question box. But actually, Demio has some really interesting and great features. For example, first, you can set up on-demand automated webinars. Second, you can add custom questions to the registration form so you can prepare your webinar content exactly to your webinar registrants and attendees. Third, Demio has a super fast and helpful customer support chat. I wrote to them on several occasions, uh, early morning or late at night, and every time I got my answer in less than 10 minutes. That's brilliant. And they have a great webinar analytics dashboard that also has attendee-focused tracking, which is really an insightful and unique feature. But you should try it out for yourself to see if it fits your specific needs. Use the link in the description to get a free 14-day Demio trial. And thanks for watching.